electromagnetic radiation. That's what you need to know. Massive table full of properties. So uh, let's go through it in a slightly more interesting way. So although the electromagnetic waves all travel at the same speed, there are different wavelengths and frequencies. And I'll see if I can get this uh, diagram done all right. Now, if we have the wavelength being from one wave peak to another, we can see that there's a long wavelength at this end and an incredibly short wavelength at that end. We can also think about the frequency. So here we have a low frequency because we have such a long wavelength, whereas here we have a high frequency. Uh, you know, it's higher than that one uh, because they've got um, such a short wavelength. So there's um, a huge amount of wave cycles per second. And uh, what you should be able to remember from GCSE is the order of the spectrum. And we start out at one end, we have the radio waves moving through micro, the infrared, uh, which is often sort of seen or felt as heat radiation. Uh, we then have visible. If we think about the visible part of the spectrum, uh, this is what we see as all the different colors of the rainbow, moving from red next to infrared through to the, the violet color. Now really, uh, I guess Newton started off the idea that there are seven colors. I guess really there's almost an infinite because we're just talking about the, the change in the wavelength, not an infinite, but there's a lot. Okay, beyond the violet, we have something better than that, which is ultra. So we have ultraviolet. Then we have X-rays, uh, which are formed when electrons decelerate and also gamma rays or gamma radiation, which you might be aware of from, again from GCSE. And we have basically this whole spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. So what do you need to know? You need to know about some of their properties uh, and you need to know or have an understanding of the order of their wavelength and frequency. Now, if you know about their frequency and you know the speed of light, which is given to you anyway in your data book, then you can always work out the frequency. So I'll just write those underneath. Okay, so a lot of numbers to remember and at some point you've got to sort of uh, start to just to memorize these, okay? And so have a rough appreciation of their size. So radio waves are, you know, effectively they can be really long, uh, down to about sort of uh, down to sort of a meter in in wavelength. If we think about microwaves, from ten to the minus one to ten to the minus three, so sort of ten centimeters down to um, about a millimeter. So that's microwaves. Infrared, ten to the three minus three down to seven point eight times ten to the minus seven. Well, that's a very precise number. The others are just sort of vague. Now, seven point eight times ten to the minus seven is seven hundred and eighty nanometers and that's where we go from the infrared that our, eye, that our eyes can't detect to the red light. So red light is about 780 nanometers. If we then keep going um, through the higher energy uh, light we then get to sort of the, the violet and the violet is about 390 nanometers. After that it becomes something that, again we can't see, it can be quite damaging to our eyes and our skin and then it's ultraviolet. So ultraviolet goes from sort of, uh, 390 nanometers up to about 10 to the minus eight meters. X-rays, uh, 10 to the minus eight to uh, 10 to the minus 12. And then we have the gamma radiation, which is anything shorter than 10 to the minus 12. And there's not a, a distinct point where X-rays finish and gamma rays start. And sometimes we can sort of look at their definitions in terms of the X-rays being generated by the uh, energy given off when electrons decelerate whereas a gamma ray is uh, something that's emitted by the nucleus of an atom. And there's a bit of a sort of crossover here, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. In terms of the frequencies, again, um, what you find is that uh, 10 to the 8, 5 times 10 to the 3 gives something in the order of 10 to the 8. Uh, so the frequencies are going to be sort of fairly low, maybe about 1,000 hertz. And we have different sorts of uh, radio frequencies. So you might know in your car we have F, um, long wave and short wave. Well, that refers to the wavelength and they've got their corresponding frequencies. 10 to the 8 to 10 to the 12 for micro. Uh, infrared, 10 to the 12 to sort of 10 to the 15. Uh, light basically vibrates about 50, 10 to the 15 times per second. So very, very fast, but not as fast as a really big, uh, highly energetic thing. So uh, ultraviolet, again, 10 to the 15, up to 10, uh, 10 to the 16. X-rays, 10 to the 16 to about 10 to the 20. And then anything that vibrates quicker than that, you know, 10 to the 23 times per second is going to be one of these uh, gamma rays. So there we have it. The electromagnetic spectrum 
and at some point this is uh, very much rote learning you've just got to know about uh, some of the frequencies and have an idea about uh, the difference in magnitudes of the frequencies and wavelengths from radio micro infrared visible uv x-ray all the way through to gamma radiation <laughs>